Diabetes and sleep apnea. How does sleep and sleep apnea affect your blood sugars as a diabetic at night? What happens to you when sleep apnea occurs? And what are the severe health consequences, including how much more medication could you need? Can you actually lose weight with sleep apnea present? Are the two together, sleep apnea and diabetes, deadly? And finally, how do you tell if one has sleep apnea and is there a simple cure? How would I know this? Well, not only am I diabetic, but I do have sleep apnea too. So stay tuned to the very end. I will cover the tried and true remedy for sleep apnea that will completely change your life and health for the better. But before we begin, let me welcome you to the Resilient Diabetic. This is where we turn ordinary struggling diabetics into extraordinarily well-controlled diabetics. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jay Sampat, and I am an insulin-dependent diabetic diagnosed a little over five years ago, so the proud owner of a pancreas that's gone on a permanent and lifelong vacation. So not only am I a diabetic like you, where we will be walking that walk and talking that talk together, but I do also have a University of Bachelor of Science degree in Nutrition Dietetics, and that does come in very handy in discussing all the intricacies of being a diabetic. The unique information presented today will only be found here on The Resilient Diabetic. New, life-changing episodes are released weekly. So if you want to learn more and you want to be notified, then I suggest you do hit that gray bell, the subscribe button, and of course, that like button. The connection between sleep apnea and diabetes is dangerous one because the two will team up to make the symptoms of one another far worse. They can and will result in life-threatening conditions such as heart disease, high blood pressure, or even strokes. And for us diabetics, the most important variable to our health, uncontrolled blood sugars, especially at night, and the inability to actually lose weight. I will explain why this happens with direct correlations. Just remember, sleep compromises one third of the human lifespan, so altered metabolism during this period has substantial health consequences. Currently, over 30 million Americans are suffering from diabetes and another 84 million are living with prediabetes. That's why it's super important to recognize the symptoms of sleep apnea and diabetes early on before the two come together to grow stronger. So what exactly is sleep apnea? The most common form of sleep apnea is called OSA or obstructive sleep apnea. It's caused by a blockage of the airway, usually when the soft tissue in the back of the throat collapses or relaxes during sleep. This involves pauses in breathing during sleep. The periods of stopped breathing are called apneas. Apneas may be interrupted with brief arousal that does not actually awaken you completely. You often do not even realize that your sleep was disturbed. Yet, if you were measured in a sleep laboratory, Technicians would record changes in brain waves that are characteristic of actually being awake. Sleep apnea needs to be addressed immediately upon arrival. Many of you may have it and not even know. I actually initially found out through my wife as she described what was happening as I slept at night and I was completely unaware. Sleep apnea is sometimes associated with those who are overweight, but that is not true. Even those like myself who are physically fit strength, power athletes, those of us with strong, thick muscular necks and trapezius muscles, we are prone to. So what really is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea occurs when a person's breathing is interrupted during sleep. People with untreated sleep apnea stop breathing repeatedly during the night, sometimes hundreds of times. Breathing pauses can last from a few seconds to minutes. What's worse, they may occur 30 times or more in an hour. When normal breathing starts again, it is accompanied with usually a very loud snort or a choking sound. Sleep apnea can result in a growing number of extremely pressing health problems, including high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, irregular heartbeats, heart attacks, worsening diabetes, and depression. You do not function during the day as the need to nap or fall asleep overwhelms you. I fought sleepiness during the day at work and while driving, it was a nightmare. What this really means is that the brain and the rest of the body is suffocating by not getting enough oxygen at night. The body is not repairing and recovering from the day's direct stresses. 
just the opposite is occurring. Think of it like getting into a physical fight during your sleep, but not being able to breathe. Your body is desperately trying to stay alive. It is dying a slow death as it chokes itself inside out. Sleep apnea symptoms include waking up with a headache, loud snoring, episodes in which you stop breathing during your sleep, which we reported by somebody else, waking up gasping or choking for air during sleep, awakening with dry mouth, irritability or mood swings, the inability to concentrate, difficulty paying attention while you're awake, chronic fatigue, or excessive daytime sleepiness. You find yourself falling asleep at work, while watching TV, or even driving. Lastly, for us diabetics, uncontrolled blood sugars. And for some of you suffering from restless leg syndrome, there is a strong correlation to both. One has to remember, sleep apnea is basically the body just trying to get air. So it is under considerable stress, but now at night too. So there will be an elevated heart rate with reduced blood oxygen coming into the body, but there's more. In order to survive the night, the body goes into a, almost a semi fight or flight condition. There is an increased level of fatty acids, of glucose, the stress hormone cortisol gets secreted in large amounts, and of course, blood pressure that increases during sleep. The more severe the apnea is, the more the parameters get increased. If your pancreas is working, it will then produce more insulin because the body's required high blood sugar levels to combat the apneas, creating a worst case scenario, especially for us diabetics, severe insulin resistance. What is worse? Because the unknown apneas which raise blood sugars, you're now put on more medications. And if you're insulin dependent, more insulin. And this is why the two together are absolutely devastating. This is why together they're called the Grim Reaper. So if you have any of those symptoms, make an appointment with your doctor immediately and discuss this with them. Your doctor may refer you to a sleep specialist who will do a special sleep study. That's to measure your activity during sleep. The results of the sleep study can help your doctor make an accurate diagnosis and prescribe an effective and safe treatment. If tested positive for sleep apnea, you will more than likely be put on a CPAP or a continuous positive airway pressure device to keep the airways free obstruction while you sleep. Many users feel that CPAP machine gave them back their quality of life as it helped them feel re-energized and now they could even lose weight. The machine itself is completely silent when turned on. So your partner who was probably interrupted due to your sleep apnea will also get a great night's sleep too. And this is where the magic begins. Once you're fitted with the right mask, your life will return. You will be a new person. Don't listen to all that negativity on CPAP machines. They are uncomfortable. They're hard to use, blah, 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 blah. Those are just the competitors in the industry using headline news to scare you into using their untested products. You will finally get that good night's sleep, deep and refreshing sleep. And for diabetics, blood sugars will drop significantly as the body's stress level drops. Thus, less insulin resistance, which means that your body composition or body fat ratios can now drop. Why? Because you're using or you have to produce less insulin to get the job done. So you see how this is all interrelated? I will set up playlists for you. In that playlist, you will find more videos that will definitely help you be that healthy, energetic diabetic. The video, The Perfect Treatment, I will cover what it takes to get that perfect treatment plan. I will even answer the biggest question every diabetic has. Is your diabetes curable? Can we as diabetics use the term curable? A video on exercise, which will present a whole different view on how the human body really works especially the diabetic one, and that one will blow your mind. Videos on metformin. Why would I as a type 1.5 still continue to take metformin? And even one on your doctors, the limitations of your doctor. How much does your doctor know about nutrition? Have they even taken a single nutrition course during medical school? I will create a direct link for you and I'll put it right there. If you're on your desktop or laptop, use your mouse to click that box. If you're on your mobile device, Tap that with your fingers. So have a great and productive day and we'll see you soon with another new episode, which I said are always released weekly. Bye for now.